Well, after last Tuesday's show, some of the wild cards got advice from a wild card success story. American Idol runner-up Clay Aiken. Take a look. Hey, Clay Aiken. Hey. 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 Congratulations to you. I got rejected once real good. You know, I was going home. It was over. And it's not. Remember, you're here. You made it in the top 30 for a reason. This next vote, not to stretch it out or anything, <laughs> is really the most important. Yeah. Because you get into the top ten, and you're part of the top ten, you know. But you got to get through here, and I would look at what types of people is Canada voting for. That yeah. type of thing, and analyze, and see how you can kind of not change the way you do things, but how you can draw on some of the stuff that seems to have been popular. Why did you choose uh, your song for the Wild Card? Don't Let the Sun Go Down on Me was a song that I had sung before, and and was comfortable with, and I knew that I could do it well. I mean, you. You picked three times a lady. Had you ever sung it before? Yeah. And yours, get here. Had you done that before too? And you sung, yeah. I believe in you and me. Your song selection blew me out of the water, you know, just because it was so yeah. different, which is great, you know, that's that's really tapping into something else that nobody else right. did, which was good. So this was a tough group, and group two, which is what I was in, um, was a really tough group too. Yeah. Ruben came out of group two, and Kim Locke came out of group two. <laughs> yeah. So all top three came yeah. out of that group. So it's just a really tight race, and you know, like yours was, you just realize, you know, I was close enough to be there this time. Hopefully I'll be good enough to get through this next time.